customer had to pull the brake off because he said it would not let go, this brake release. What up, Car Smart TV? So, I have a 2011 or newer. Um, this is the infamous EasyGo RXV, and today this customer had to pull the brake off because he said it would not let go. So what you do to try and see if the golf cart is a problem or if the brake is a problem is you're going to flip this thing into tow mode, and then you'll come up here to the key switch and put it right there. So when I do that, you're going to hear this brake release. Right, so heard that big click. This is freed up. When you're installing a new one of these, you're going to want to make sure you have that mode set up for this so it can be loose for you. Because if it's not loose, you'll never line these three holes up. To bolt it back to the motor so we're gonna bolt this back up on the motor and uh, take this thing for a test run and see see how it does okay guys so at the beginning of our video here we was talking about the brake on this thing and this is the uh, easy go rxv so one thing come to light as well getting the golf cart back to running i was just a little peculiar what if the voltage is actually causing some of the problems some of the problems not all the problems absolutely brakes can malfunction and fail on their own um, you could also have a controller issue that would cause that lock up um, but that's not what we have here I, I'm looking more towards the battery pack voltage causing some of the common issues with the brakes it's just a little to me it's a little off to be an RXV because these things are normally right quick and right powerful when it comes to you know pulling a heavy load. I'm going to go ahead and rescan because I want to know if we are actually having a voltage issue with these things uh, because what I think is that sometimes if you have an older pack of batteries in your golf cart that's not let's say what a brand new set or even so much as maybe a two-year-old set of batteries will still produce and perform like they're supposed to for the golf cart. Uh, specifically for the RXV because it has so much censored items. Your brake pedal, your throttle pedal, your controller, the motor. And if we're not seeing the proper voltage, it's not going to be communicating to those sensors properly. So uh, we're going to scan this thing again and let's see what this, what this tells us because I have in this golf cart a set of batteries from March of 2016 and I believe that we are absolutely or it previously had a voltage cutback. So that's telling me that at some point this battery pack has dropped below what the system is asking for which includes the brake so if that brake and the controller aren't communicating back and forth it is a hundred percent gonna lock this brake up what i think could be causing some of you guys issue is is that the battery pack voltage is dropping below or completely dropping out a battery or more when you're riding this thing especially with let's say like four passengers on it so um you know it it's just not able to keep up and communicate from controller from battery pack to controller to the sensors throughout the golf cart keep that keep that in mind while you're trying to troubleshoot this at home uh you know that way you you know 100 percent that you're having a a battery issue instead of an actual brake issue uh, because, you know, this card is so uh, electronically sensitive that if, if you're not feeding the, the controller 
the proper voltage while riding it's absolutely going to give you a problem of some sort and throw some kind of codes which could shut this particular style golf cart down guys so you've seen at the beginning of this video that I went through the procedure on how to test the brake and how to put it back on and when I was doing all that I found that it was not actually a brake problem uh, with this particular cart now that doesn't mean you won't have a actual brake problem because most of the common issue is a brake failure for these things at least what I see uh, but at this point we had went by what the scanner had said and it was showing the brake faults and um, you know I got to test in that circuit and that was not the case what the case actually wound up being was a voltage problem and you will see me put um, batteries in this golf cart in this video and once we got to the proper voltage to the system um, it could finally see that the brake was operational so we did go back with the customer's original brake because it was still in good shape uh, it showed no signs of, of wear and tear or any kind of damage whatsoever so just be sure you guys are, are you know checking these batteries if you're having some kind of issue going on because it could just be as simple as the cart looking for the proper voltage to carry the signals to the circuits needed to operate the golf cart so uh, just keep an eye on your voltages. That should keep you from, um, at least for the most part, keep you from having any kind of, of serious issues such as the lockdown like this one had. Had that lockdown because the voltage had just completely dropped far enough to where the brake could not operate from the signal anymore due to the voltage. Uh, stressing that pretty pretty, pretty highly there at, at voltage. Hopefully you guys will... will uh, get to be able to take a little more from this uh, on the in the RXV world we appreciate everybody watching we thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and uh, we feel so blessed that we have all you guys uh, watching us and commenting on our videos thank you all so much y'all have a beautiful day